coffee, squash, meds and paracetamol <sighs> for my hurty swollen ass. Hello, yes. Yesterday I did fall on the step into my kitchen and I fell, right, this, like, um, should I draw a picture? Okay. Okay, so there's there's bum, there's your your the top of your crack. Which side am well anyway, on one side mirror image, all that anyways. I have now got a bruise going like that. Nice straight line where where like the the edge of the stone step hit me and then all of that it is swollen and feels numb. Like numb to the touches and like I can't feel the skin, but it hurts. If that makes sense. So yeah, that's lovely. I slept on my side and I did not move like all night, other than to get up to pee. Oh, so that was fun. I could sit down okay because it's actually like bottom of back rather than bottom, if you know what I mean. But bloody hell! Oh, that was agony. It hurt so much that I had to go and throw up and then I was shaking and stuff. It was horrible. Like I proper screamed and everything. Anyways, it's okay. Oh, and then later on in the night I went and stubbed my toe and I was just like, fuck. So yeah, that was a fun day yesterday. So I didn't do my post yesterday and um, there's not much point doing it today because like, exactly because posties already picked up the nine o'clock one so i'll probably do them tomorrow some of them and then save the rest until monday and shiz today oh it's a match day how exciting some sport thing is happening and apparently whales are involved so that's great good for them i said i'd pop in on my mates as they're watching it um as well so maybe <laughs> um but yeah i fancy going to cowbridge i want to mooch i want to go to waitrose i want to yeah i want to buy celeriac if they've got it they may do they may not do anyways that's my rough plans for today and then probably just back to bed later started watching the new series of you I'm not into it so far. I liked the other series, obviously because the main guy is a bit beautiful. But now he's got a beard. He's covering up his best bit, which is his his top lip and like the gap between his teeth. I love that. I love a good like thin, stiff top lip and a, and a and a gap. I love. Ah. Oh. Anyway, so now that's covered up. I'm not, I'm not interested in the show anymore. It's boring. Yeah. So I might carry on watching that. We'll see. But it's not grabbing me so far anyways. Especially when they go like, this is London. I'm like, you sure? I mean, like some parts of it are. Like where they, you know, you can see a bit where they shot Sherlock, I reckon. Um, but it's like, this, that's not what London's really like, you know. And not what Londoners are really like. Anyways, it's just, you know. What are you doing? Uh, no, no, you can't. No, not with a bear again. Tilda, come and say hello. Come and show the nice bit of you. Come here. G g no, no, leave the bear alone. Leave it alone. Show pretty face. Look at that pretty face. I know, you You actually sat next to Shizuma and you didn't fight each other. You did this morning, I know, yeah. But no, that's a pen. You can play with this. What about this? Get it! No. Oh. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Cowbridge. She destroys everything.
Do you do magic trick? Bing! <laughs> Abracadabra! Bing! Bing! Boop! Go. Just walking past the um, Fireplace Animal Charity Shop and admiring their uh, Valentine's window and I notice they've got a, a nut chopper nut chopper <laughs> Bridge and what is this place called again? Coffee 96 69? Degrees. 96 degrees, not coffee 69 then. That would be something else entirely. And it's very nice in here, but they don't let you have sugar in your coffee. But it is very nice because it's sweet enough. Don't get me excited. So that's that's where we've gone. And uh, and Jordan's got new glasses today. Look, the Liberty print. How lush are they? And Look at that. That is so nice. I want. So we're uh, having a little look around the farmer's market. We're looking for celeriac, but it just seems to be lots of yummy sweets and things, which is naughty coffee. They've got your single roast there. Oh, cakes. <laughs> Not having much luck with the celeriac, it's probably going to have to be Waitrose. Yeah, I can't see him today. Oh no. Naughties. <laughs> Looks so good though. Right, time for the mooch. Charity shop mooch. Valentine's Day stuff. Valentine's Day. Doing anything nice for Valentine's Day? in a sense. 
Right, I am all spent up. Oh yes. So we're having a coffee. So here in the coach, waiting for, for some some uh, sport type thing to happen. <laughs> sport type stuff. <laughs> I'm on the Diet Coke and this is Duke! Yay! Who's the goodest boy? He is. If he gets <laughs> treats. You know, you're the Not goodest boy though. Yeah. Goodest boy. Back from watching a bit of the rugby in the coach. Uh, Wales are losing at the moment in sport. I'm going to cook this burger. This is a celeriac and I'm going to make it into chips. First of all, I've got to somehow get into it. Okay, so that was easier than expected. So I've cut them into, you know, chip sized chips. Um, uh, about 200 grams worth and I've got two portions of 200 grams that I'm going to freeze as well. I'm going to do my sea bass, kind of like I did the schnitzel the other day where I'm going to bread it and um yeah cook it off in in the breading and stuff and hopefully have myself some tasty fish and chips so there you go there's my little chips i put them in a little bit of fry light and with some i've got like this salt and vinegar seasoning stuff i put a little bit of that on it putting it in for about 40 minutes at 180 and uh kind of hoping for the best so there we go, an unusually beige meal for me this evening, but I haven't had any lunch today and um, it's Saturday night and I'm kind of going for it, I'm going with it, why not? So my fish is done, um, there's probably a little bit too much egg to powder ratio, but there we are, um, put some lemon juice and salt on the top. I also used some of the batter that was left to pickle these gherkins, or to batter these gherkins, mm, that's good. I've got, as you can see, what was left of the mayo. The mayo is done. And then these, they don't crisp up. But, really tasty. Mmm. As you can see, they kind of shrivel away. But, really nice. Looking forward to this. Even though there's no veg on there whatsoever. Well, you know, no green stuff. Right, dinner was absolutely bloody lush. I could eat that all over again, but I'd be stuffed. This is new to my house. It wasn't my sister's. Um, she was getting rid of it and I was like, I'll have it. So I'm gonna put booze and cool things in there, I guess. My little telly on top. And then my sister also found something amazing today. Oh yeah, another Trechikoff. She paid 20 pound for it. Bloody amazing with original frame to her as well. I absolutely love it and at some point it might go up on there hopefully but yeah isn't she gorgeous. Hello so yes dinner was um, yummy I've just gone out to feed my mate's cat because she's away for the night so I've gone to say hello. Didn't get tempted to go back into the pub even though someone did try and persuade me but no I'm being good and also because I had to come back and show you my haul. So stuff what I did buy today. I spent a little bit too much on two little jewellery, but never mind. I spent £11 on a little job lot of turquoisey stuff, but mainly only to get this necklace, which is sterling silver, and it's probably not turquoise, it's dyed, high, dyed howlite, but it's still a nice enough little necklace, so that's okay. And then there's a couple of other little bits in there, which are just costume. And then this little um, Monet, bracelet for $1.99. Yep, that was it for jewellery. Very jewellery light day today. I got a couple of um, Santoro, Santoro purses. They're not huge money in them, but they were $1.99 each and they're new. They've still got like their little cardboard inserts and the little pack of silica gel um, and that'll be a multi-listing. So, you know, it's only one lot of work. It's okay. They won't get me a lot, maybe a tenner each, but still. You know, they're cute. They've got nails on them, so, you know. Um, Next thing up for a pound, I got... It makes me look like a bus conductor, not a very good one. But this is Prince Heinrich. And it's got little anchors on it, so I'm presuming it's like um a replica of, like, a German navy, I think. 
There's one listed similar for like £45, I think, but I don't think it goes that. I think it's probably more like a 15 to 20 kind of thing. But I mean, it was only a pound and it's something unusual. Um, I got a duck. How much was he? 2 99 Probably won't go for much and probably isn't all of that vintage. Maybe 90s, maybe 2000s, I don't know. I don't know. He would have had a little sticker there, I'm guessing. But he's cute and you should never turn a good duck down. Oh, sorry, there was another bit of jewellery. Sorry, a bit of gold over silver. Trickle of gold over silver necklace. Nice chain. So there you go, there was another little bit of jewellery. Right. Hmm. Okay, this one was £4. Again, it's not vintage, but I really like the print on it. It is like a vanity box or a hat box kind of thing, a little travel case. That was only four pounds. It's only made in China um, and the fabric printed in Korea, apparently according to the label. But I just thought it was nice. So I'm willing to pay four pounds for that because I just thought it was a really nice little bag. Also for four pounds, I bought this vintage glass lampshade. There are some nibbles around the top where obviously they've had trouble like taking it off the lamp or whatever. Um, but I just thought the colour on it was really lovely because it's like slightly graduated as well. And um, yeah, I just thought for £4 that was worth a punt. It's a um, nice thick glass. Mm, there we go. Don't know if that's a sign for anything. But um, I've had a quick look online. I've seen ceramic ones and then the only glass one I can see is under like Victorian Lighting Company or something and they've got one listed for $200 which is just insane. I don't think it's that much. I think it's maybe about 40 quid. I don't know. I don't know. Um, a random really silly purchase but I couldn't resist. I bought nine pigeons for £30. But these are like decoy pigeons, or rather they're pigeons to quite awfully collect other pigeons. So they are by the East Anglian Shooting Products Company, made in uh, Norwich. So what happens is you put these on sticks all around your field, right? And it looks like from above, it looks like pigeons going nom nom nom, we found food. So other pigeons and birdies will come and join these little fake birdies and go like, oh, where's the food, where's the food? Meanwhile, naughty men with guns will go boom. So um, that's quite horrible, isn't it? But um, someone's got one listed for a tenner. I thought, again, it's a multi-listing, it's something weird. You don't have to use them for shooting. You can put them on the wall. Do, do, do. Would be quite fun, wouldn't it? You know, weird decoration stuff. But I've got a pile of pigeons. Piles of pigeons. Crazy. And then my um I'm not quite sure about this purchase. It could be a winner, it could be a dud. Who knows? I thought they would be dud first of all, and then looking at other listings online, it's like hmm, could be, could be. But for 39 39 of your earth pounds. Some Gucci for two cheese. And if they were in my size, I would be keeping them. But they're a size 10, way too big, which is a shame. But I've looked at other ones on eBay that have got the authenticated tick next to it. And they are identical, even down to like the, the way that's printed on the inside and like the sticker, like the leather sticker in there, the everything. There's a little problem. It's got like a little bit of wear to the back there. And obviously it's a little bit dirty, um, but that should clean up with like, you know, that pink stuff, stain remover things. Um, but yeah, like I said, if they were in my size, these would be keepers, bit of gooch. Oh no, you can't say that word, that's a wrong word. But yeah, £39. I mean, as you can see, I was out with Jordan earlier and like he said, worst comes to worst, I just shove them on Facebook Marketplace for 50 quid and get my money back, you know? But 
I'm going to get them authenticated by eBay because it's a free service. I've never used it before. I'm not quite sure how it works. So I'll find out at some point. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I think I think they look okay. You know? Mm. There we are. Anyways, that's it from me to today for today. I'm gonna have a Lix coffee bar, num num num, to go to bed with. My ass feels a lot better than it did this morning. I still shouldn't be prodding it, going like, oh yeah, that bit hurts. But you know what? You just can't help it. Can you go, oh yeah, that hurts. Weird, I know. <laughs> but there we are. Um, oh man, the bruise on it is beautiful. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you. Stop asking. Um. But yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to watch a bit of telly in bed. Um, I was feeling a bit sorry for myself and then I was like, no, shower, up, put on makeup, go out. That'll be better. And now I'm feeling sorry for myself again, which is silly, isn't it? Never mind. Eat chocolate, watch films. It's a good plan. Right. Um, see you again next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.